I'd like to show you a little bit about preparing an area and planting an area to Bermuda grass seed. And so uh, what we see here is one of the first things we look at is, is how do we prepare the soil, get it ready for our seed. You know, at first, uh, it may be an area where there's already grass growing. If that's the case, we're going to have to uh, come in uh, maybe the fall before you want to plant uh, the Bermuda grass and spray that area out with a non-selective herbicide such as a glyphosate. And then the following spring, do it again, spray it out again and to make sure there's no living material there. And then you want to get the soil ready so you may have to come in and till the soil up and you'll see that as you do that the first time the soil is going to look a little bit rough and not quite ready for planting and then as you uh, continue on uh, breaking up that soil uh, you can get a rake on it or something like that and start to smooth the area out so here where I'm standing you, st you start to see where the area is getting closer to pr uh, being prepared but as I walk through this uh, you'll see some footprints here and these footprints are still a little bit deep and what we're trying to do is create a really a firm uh, and a clean and a smooth seed bed. So we're really clean here and we're, we're starting to get really smooth here but we're not quite firm enough yet because and I can tell that just by looking at my footprints as I walk through here. So to firm it up a little bit we may need something like a roller or a tamper and, and just try to firm this seed bed up a little bit more and here, here as I walk through this area you can see my footprints are no longer uh, going deep into the soil and this is pretty much getting ready now for our seeding. So the next step is what we'd have to do is uh, take a soil test and we want to test this soil to look at what our nutrients, what are our nutrient levels. And so we're really concerned about our nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. Those are the three main elements. But also if you want to you can pay a little extra on that soil test and look at your secondary nutrients or your micronutrients. If your phosphorus and or potassium is sufficient, then don't add any more to the soil. And when we're at this situation right here, we're really at our greatest threat for, for losing nutrients through runoff or leaching when there's no vegetation yet. So if you don't need it, don't add it. Now nine times out of 10, you're gonna be deficient in nitrogen. You're gonna to have to add a little nitrogen to get this seed started. And if the soil test says you need phosphorus or potassium, add that as well at the recommended rates. So here we have a couple of different spreaders and these can be used to put your fertilizer out once you do your soil test but also can be used to, to spread your seed out. So Bermuda grass seed is actually quite small and um, I just have a, a sample of seed here from one of our OSU developed grasses, Riviera Bermuda grass, very well adapted to Oklahoma and you see that it's purple so this is actually treated seed if you see Bermuda grass seed that just looks brown it's probably untreated seed and so um, it, it's really good to go with maybe a product that you see has been treated to help with disease and other issues you can plant untreated seed as well but uh, what you want to do is just plant this Bermuda grass whether it's treated or not at one to two pounds of pure live seed per thousand square feet so since this is treated seed, there's actually some other material here uh, sprayed onto the seed in addition. So actually with this, it adds about 50% to the weight. So we, if we're going to plant a one to two pound of pure live seed when we have treated, we actually have to bump that up to about two to three pounds of treated seed per thousand square feet. And it actually says that right here on the label, plant two to three pounds of this particular brand of seed. So once we do that, we can calibrate our spreader so it's putting out the right amount and a lot of times what people will do is they'll say if they want to calibrate to two pounds for the area they'll actually calibrate their spreader to do one pound of seed and they'll go one direction with one pound and then go the other direction with another pound to ensure uniform coverage and that's always a good thing to do. Today we're going to demonstrate actually with a drop spreader and the, uh, the difference between the rotary and the drop is the rotary spreads the seed out kind of all around you and the drop spreader is just going to drop right down in between the wheels. And be sure to check out our fact sheets on how to establish your lawn and how to maintain after you plant.